Dozens of Muslim worshippers gathered in New York's Times Square to mark the start of Ramadan, with some displaying Palestinian flags. They performed tearaway, special Ramadan night prayers, despite cold and windy conditions, with vocalists chanting nashts and children reciting from the Quran. Ramadan is observed by fasting until sunset each day and coming together with family and friends in the evening to break the fast. Several hundred people attended the tearaway prayers in New York's Times Square, with motivational speakers and social media figures giving speeches during the event. The organizer, SQ, along with Muslims giving back and droplets of mercy, facilitated the gathering where Quran reciters led the prayers and free iftar meals were provided. The event aimed to educate non-Muslims about Ramadan and Islam, with a focus on unity and community engagement. There were some controversies surrounding the tearaway prayer held in Times Square. While the event aimed to educate non-Muslims about Ramadan and Islam, some members of the Muslim community voiced concerns over holding religious events in such a bustling location. They expressed worries about praying in the presence of giant billboards displaying images that conflicted with the intimate nature of tearaway prayers. There were questions about the effectiveness of the event in a noisy and busy place like Times Square, with some suggesting that the funds used for the event could have been directed towards feeding the homeless or supporting vulnerable groups. Despite these concerns, the organizer, SQ, emphasized that the event was meant to unite Muslims and educate non-Muslims about Islam while creating an entertaining and historic dawah event. Tearaway is a voluntary prayer performed during the month of Ramadan. It is a sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad and is performed after the Isha prayer and before the Witr prayer. The name Tearaway means rest and relaxation because the prayer is performed with breaks between each set of rak'ahs. The prayer can be performed at home, alone or in congregation or at a mosque. In many mosques, one juz 30th part of the Quran is recited each night in Tarawih, providing a special flavor to Ramadan. The number of rak'ahs is not fixed, but it usually is either 8 or 20, with a short break after every 4 or 2 rak'ahs. Each rak'ah begins with the recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha, followed by a portion of the Quran. The Witr prayer is then performed after the tearaway prayer is completed. It is highly encouraged to perform tearaway prayer in congregation, as this is the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.